crazy. Good morning. Good morning. Is badass? Who is this? It's Envy. What's up, nigga? What's up? It's Angela. What up, badass? Where Charlemagne at? I'm, I'm right here, bro. What up? I'm chilling like a. But look, let me tell y'all this. Exclusive for y'all only. I ain't on no um. What you call that? Um, you know, no paparazzi trying to get all hey, hey, hey for this because you know I'm about my music and that's that's one of the second things I want to say. I'm gonna end up sending y'all some music because uh, my life ain't about fighting and negativity and all of that. Shit. But I wanted to give y'all the heads up because I like y'all showing Angela hit me because I guess the word got to her. But um, I took off on Ray J ass last night at the Nokia Center because I seen him and um, I hadn't ran into him in a good in a good sense. To do. I've probably seen him twice since about since '05 when um, he got me jumped by Sugar Knight. A little while before that, me and Ray J used to be friends. Mm. And bottom line is, um, one time a lot of people know about me getting jumped by the death row. It was it was some really some minor stuff, but what happened was um, I was talking to Corrupt after he left the dog pound at the club in Vegas, and um, Suge Knight ran into me. But me and Suge had supposedly been cool, and um, Ray J was my friend. He tried to get on um, Snoop Dogg bus a couple months before that. Snoop was cutting all the ties with everybody that messed with us and messed with Suge, and um, he told he found out that Ray J hung with Suge, and he was like, "Yo, I don't want Ray J on my tour bus, badass. Mm -hmm. I know he's a homie, but he hang with Suge Knight." And um, he was happened to be in the town we was in. I think we was in like Kansas City or something. Mm -hmm. So when Ray J came to the tour bus, he was like, "What up, badass? You know we was homies and stuff." I'm like, "Man, look, I can't let you on the tour bus." Snoop said, "You know because you hang with Suge." I told him the real, and he was like getting all mad, like, "Man, that's messed up. We supposed to be homies and this, that, and the other." And um, I'm like, "Look, this Snoop tour." Bus, bro. I can't call it. I'll holler at you when you get home, homie to homie. And he gets mad at me, start texting me and cussing me out. <laughs> so I was like, uh, you know what, man? You don't sway. I'll, I'll holler at you another time, blah, blah, blah. So he said, y'all scared of Suge Knight. That's why y'all won't let me on the bus. So I said, F you and Suge Knight, Ray J. Have a good night. Nigga, I'll holler at you when we get to L.A. Uh -huh. So <laughs> my, me thinking nothing of it because Ray J was my friend. So he was really cool with Suge, really showed Suge my message. And me and Suge had been cool. Like, we would talk before that. So <laughs> I guess that kind of pissed him off. When he saw me at the club in Vegas talking to Corrupt, I'm thinking me and Suge, Peachy Cream, what up, Suge Knight? What up, badass? He like, let me holler at you over here. Took me to the side, and by six or seven, him and some of his homies put their hands on me. I don't like work. Whoa. I didn't get a busted lip or nothing. But like I said, that was years ago, and um, I seen Ray J once, got kicked out of the club. I had a fight with my homie over it in Vegas. He was real chicken and scary. I never really had a super problem with me. The dude had his mom call me about this. I just told him, Ray J, come see me. Give me a fair one. You was my homie. You act like you a street dude. You, you act like you all tied up with this. You got some street dudes to put their hands on me, homie. I don't play that. You got me with my dad running around with our with our henchmen. You know what I'm saying? Because I got family that love me. So, you know, niggas can't run around the street safe putting their hands on me. Right. So, anyway, make a long story short, I seen him with Tierra Marie last night. And I wanted to. And he's still being with Tierra? Wait, wait, wait. Back up. He was with, he was with, with Tierra, Tierra Marie. Marie. Yeah, the, the, the pretty little single. I met her once or twice. I don't even know if she knew that was me digging in his ass by the time I launched off on him. But I seen him taking pictures and smiling, so I kind of sat back. I knew he didn't see me. I didn't have nobody with me at the time but my little date. I had a cute little female with me. So I ran to the um to the outside, got my uncle who was with me, who I knew going to squad with me. Didn't tell not one other person on earth. He didn't get jump. It was nothing like that. I told my uncle that was with me. I said, uncle, next time I see Reggie pass me, I'm taking off. Light work. Soon as he walked by, I bing, 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 threw a couple to the head. I respect him this one bit because he tried to fight back a little bit. But it wasn't nothing. His homies helped him. Nobody got super mixed up. I did not knock him out cold. He, You know, he squabbed back. We got a little tussle on. It was cool. It was, it, you know, it was good. Uh, welcome around. You know, get your little energy up from grown man stuff. It was just to send a little message. No hyphy shit. Don't ever put your hands on me and don't sleep light. If you put your hands on me, boy, I'm from this soil and I get down. All I do is rap music, love my kids, and take care of my business. Don't cross my path on no negative stuff. And shout out to all those other f that was there. Excuse my language. But I shout out to all those other dudes that was there. They gon' get their head touched, too. So hold on. And I don't need last night. I don't need last night. I mean, everybody that has something to do with me getting chumped. 
You feel me? They ain't none of them stepped out to give me a fair one. Ain't none of them called me. When I got jumped, it was shoot night and about six or seven other dudes and street dealers. I ain't never called no police. I ain't never did nothing but look for these niggas. When I run into them and I got the advantage, we taking off like pit bulls off the leash. Well, you know what they're going to say. Nah, they, 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 years they, later, though. Like, like I told, I be making jokes like, if I see them dudes in the kind of a nothing home and we both in wheelchairs, I might kick one of them down the little bluff. You feel <laughs> oh me? Oh, my gosh. So, so free, easy, yeah, yeah. I don't rest easy. I, I, let God, I put it all in God's hands, really. So if he do want me to get any kind of physical, get back on these guys, he's going to put me like you put me in front of AJ. I ain't looking for nobody because half these dudes, I can really go put an APB out and find them tonight and do something physical to them. But I just wait till God put me in their path. And if it's really meant for me to see them again like that, if it's really meant for them to do something to me, then it'll be happy because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very, very happy soul. And like I said, this will probably be the last time I'm talking about it and everybody going to ask questions. I gave y'all the rundown. Ain't nobody else getting no verbals out of me about it. Well, we Check appreciate that. that. Now, badass, badass. And go. Hold on, you, you, you know everybody's going to say, okay, you didn't uh, run to the police, but you're kind of dry snitching right now in the breakfast club. <laughs> About the situation. That's cool, Charlemagne. I like how they say, but guess what? This to me is entertainment. Y'all entertainment. I love y'all show. Y'all always bring some of the real grit. Y'all keep the hip hop alive, and that's why I brought it to y'all. So if I'm switching on the hip hop telecast, call it what you want, nigga. I'm keeping the hip hop, keeping it in the streets. I ain't told nobody. I ain't told on nobody. I I briefly detailed anything. You feel me? Badass, badass. Now, um, do they do Shug Knight and Ray J really have booty goons or anything like that? I know now, that. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. What I heard, because I do my, my work on my thing, he got a boyfriend named Young Buck, and they be doing it to each other. I used to be fired with Young Buck. He was with Snoop Dogg. Some people know him. We call him the original Young Buck because we knew him as Young Buck before Young Buck from G-Unit. But yeah, um, you know, George. George is like a uh, friend to me by default because we was, um, you know, uh, both label mates with Snoop Dogg. So he's a cool dude. No disrespect to his sexuality, but just a bus radio out. He like boys and girls. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So Ray J has a boyfriend named George or AKA Young Buck. Yes. Wow. They've been doing it. They've been doing boys. You know, they've been doing um, whatever brothers do together when they're alone in the room. And I dug up this dirt on that little pump just in case he ever say anything to me. And yeah, he freaked out and almost had a nervous breakdown. That's why he started messing with Whitney Houston and all these girls. Because uh, the way on the streets was, he was trying to convince himself he wasn't homosexual. No. Like the way he did because he said, Billy did certain gay acts. I don't, don't want to be specific on the radio, but basically, he only did certain homosexual acts. Like, he didn't do other homosexual acts, so basically he was trying to consider himself not a homosexual because, like, basically he only did this or did this or put it in his mouth or something like that. Now, those, ass, those are some strong yeah. allegations. Yeah, that's, that's an old rumor, though. I've been heard yeah, that. Yeah, I heard that. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to fight to God. never been in a room with Ray J alone doing nothing homosexual, so I really don't know if it's true. But I know Young Buck called him up. I looked him in the eyes and was like, Young Buck, you, you, make, you, you were doing it with Ray J? Young Buck are really, really cool, like, like friends. You know, I never even knew he was homosexual. But when I looked him in the eyes and said that, he gave me this one kind of smile, like he didn't want to say yes. But when I say George McLemore, and I knew his name, and I met his mom, I looked at him like that because I do want to get the word from him. Because, like right. I said, he's close enough to me that me and him is really personal. So I kind of looked him in his eyes like, oh, my God, nigga, you homosexual? You mess with really Jay? And like I said, he's almost like a little brother to me in a sense. that our relationship has been cool. we done music together. Together, and we just we just spent time around with the crew because Snoop signed him as a producer right. on Doggy Style in about right. 94. You know? All right, definitely. Well, we appreciate you checking in and send us the music. I got you. Thank you guys very much for holding it down. All, All right. right, bro. Well, Stay out of trouble. Stay out of trouble. All right, that enough said, bro. All right. The Breakfast Club, Power 105.1.